He came to Maryland to turn things around. Prior to the arrival of Charles Lefty de Rizel as the coach of the Maryland basketball team, the Terrapins had won only one Atlantic Coast Conference title and made only one NCAA tournament appearance. But the charismatic Southern gentleman who became Maryland's head basketball coach the 1969-70 season promised a new excitement. Who can forget the UCLA of the East proclamations? Who can forget the V for victory hand symbols at every game? In the 10 years prior to Lefty's arrival, Maryland had four winning seasons and one conference finish as high as second. But over the course of his 17 seasons, the Terrapins would make 11 postseason appearances, win the NIT championship in 1972, earn two regular season league titles, and take the 1984 ACC Tournament Championship. During his time at Maryland from 1969 to 1986, Lefty's players became some of the most beloved and recognizable in Terrapin history. Tom McMillan, John Lucas, Lynn Elmore, Albert Kane, Buck Williams, and Lynn Bias are but a few of the many standout Terps who played for the left-hander. A member of the Maryland Athletics Hall of Fame, Lefty also coached at Davidson, James Madison, and Georgia State. In each conference, Lefty won a league title and earned at least one Coach of the Year honor. A member of the National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame, he retired after 41 seasons with 786 wins and having won two-thirds of all the games in his career. He came to College Park to turn things around. From the time he arrived through today, the continued passion, success, and excitement surrounding Maryland basketball is a tremendous legacy to the coach we've always known as Lefty. Today, I, I'm really happy uh, to be to accept this honor from the Hall of Fame. It's something I prayed about for a long time, and I prayed about it when I was young. Basketball has been great to me, and for me to get in this Hall of Fame is like unbelievable. To me, Coach Lefty Drizel is iconic. His career was really transcendental. He was a masterful recruiter, but also a great coach. His name is synonymous with, you know, legendary coaches in the, in the ACC and legendary coaches all across the country. When he came to Maryland at the time, Maryland was pretty much in the doldrums basketball program. So he had to really start from scratch. He'd do anything that he possibly could do to make that program successful. He makes the team take on his personality. You know, when you step in between those lines, you're playing for lefty, you're going for blood. He told me the things that I could do, and he put a lot of faith in me and told me that I would be able to score and I would be able to rebound and I can do it. And when you got a coach that puts confidence and faith in you like that, you can't go out but play. It went beyond playing the game. His impact on us had a lot to do with, uh, you know, establishing a philosophy for success. He's the type of guy, he's a very friendly person, and he treats you as a man. He's a great coach, but I think the big thing, he's a better person. He's a family first type guy. When you're on his team, it's, it's all about basketball family. These are the friendships that last a lifetime, and it all developed under the leadership of a guy who recognized the importance of family. He was a lot of things, but at the end of the day, he was a winner. He had a knack for what he did, and he did it very well. Even to this day, his impact has been lasting on all of us. He just has that type of perfectionist personality. He's just always on the go, never looking back always moving forward and, and, and that's the essence of it. He's Maryland pride through and through. He's, he's a Maryland coach and he'll be a Maryland coach forever. <laughs>